Hello and welcome to Maths Mate. Today we will be doing fractions. Now you may be thinking, why are we going to be doing fractions? Well, let me tell you something. Fractions are the most important thing you will need in GCSE Maths. Um, let's take it. What are fractions used for? You wouldn't expect what they're used for. I mean, they are used in many, many things like uh, they're used in time, food, so if you're doing baking, um, there are expressions of values below one. I think that's actually the most important one. And they are used in your GCSE maths. Hooray! Yes, they are used in your GCSE maths. That's, that's a big surprise there. So we're going to be looking at the structure of a fraction. This here is the numerator. Now this is the top of the fraction. This here is the denominator. Now that is at the bottom of the fraction. Now one can affect the other, etc. And we will see that within addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let's move on. So we're going to start off with addition, which is probably one of the most easiest ones. So here's an example. One day at St. George's Comprehensive, Half of the pupils walked to school. Two-fifths of the pupils came to school by bus. The remaining 68 pupils came by car. Work out half, work out half plus two-fifths. Now, the key information here is a half and two-fifths. And you have to add it. So what I usually do is lay it out neatly. A half plus two-fifths equals. Now you have to get these the same denominator. What I mean by that is that you need the lowest common multiple between 2 and 5. Now to get that you can do 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, or you could do 2 times 5 which equals 10. And ironically that is the lowest common multiple. Now so the lowest common multiple is 10 so to do that we set out like this so 5 times 2 and 5 oh sorry no let me do that again 5 times 1 and 5 times 2 because whatever you do to the top you have to do to the bottom and you add that to 2 times 2 and that 2 times 5. Now what you do that for each one, so 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 times 2, which is 4, and 2 times 5, which is 10. 5 add 4 is 9, and you keep the, the denominator the same. Therefore, a half plus 2 fifths equals, oh god, equal. <laughs> quite well <laughs> which equals nine tenths make sure that if your fraction could be it can you know simplify it further make sure you do that but in this case you don't need to simplify that further here's a question now hit pause and do this question and then when you're ready hit play so here you have a sixth plus two thirds. Again, we want to find the lowest common multiple. And in this case, it is six. So what we want to do is, well, or we already have a sixth here. So we don't need to do anything to that fraction. However, we need to do get six within this fraction. So what you have to do is add two times three and 2 times 2, which equals 6 plus 4 over 6. Therefore, 1 add 4 is 5, and you can keep the denominator the same, which is 6. Therefore, a sixth add 2 thirds is 5 over 6. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. So now we're going to be moving on to subtraction, which is slightly more difficult. 
um, but I'm sure you'll get it. So here it says, work out four fifths minus three quarters, give your answer as a fraction. Okay, so we've got four over five minus three quarters. Let's break this down. What is the lowest common multiple? You guessed it, it's 20. Okay, so now that we know the lowest common multiple is 20, what we do is get the denominators the same uh, by timesing that by 4 and timesing that by 5. So what we do is do 4 times 5 and 4 times 4. You minus that by 5 times 3 and 5 times 4, which equals 4 times 4, which is 16, 4 times 5, 20. We take that away from 5 times 3, which is 15, and 5 times 4, which is 20, which equals 16 minus 15, which is 1, and you keep the denominator the same, which is 20. Therefore, 4 over 5 minus 3 quarters is a 20th. So make sure you pause this and do the question yourself. And when you finish the question, press play. Okay, so we have 5 over 3 minus 2 fifths, which equals. Now, we need to get the lowest common uh, multiple here. Um, so what, what, what do you think the lowest common multiple is? Well, all right, let's work this out. So we have 3 times 1, which equals 3. 5 times 1, which equals 5. Or let, let's go a bit higher. So let's do 3 times 3, which equals 9, and 5 times 3, which equals 15. All right, let's try 3 times 5, which also equals 15. So now we know that 15 is the lowest common multiple. All right, so to get the denominators the same, what do we have to times by 3 to get 15? Well, it's 5. So what we do is do 5 times 3 and 5 times 5. We take that away from 2 fifths, but we have to get this 5 the same as 15. Now to get that, uh, that to 15, we times that by 3. So we do exactly the same thing. 5, oh, 3 times 5 and 3 times 2, which equals 5 times 5, which is 25. Okay. Uh, which equals 15, and minus 6 over 15. Now that we have that, we can do this. Yes, we can. 25 minus 6. Now, what is it? Hmm. Oh, yeah, it's 19. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which equals 15. However, this is called a top. Heavy fraction. Now we are going to be doing this later on in another tutorial later on, but to do, the answer is 1, 4 over 15, or you can leave that just as 19 over 15. Now the final bit is, oh here is a multiplication question, oh yeah, we'll be moving on to multiplica multiplication now. <laughs> So now we have a sixth times three fifths. Wow. Now this looks strangely complex, but in fact, it's extremely easy. This is probably one of the most easiest questions you will get in your GCSE paper. I don't think that makes sense. Most easiest. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, this is why he doesn't do an English. This channel. is why I don't do English, by the way. Um, it is the easiest, not most easiest. This is the easiest question you will get in your GCSE maths. All you've got to do, 1 times 3, you guessed it, it's 3. 6 times 5, 30. Now, to get full marks, you have to... Simplify. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Simplify. Simplify will get you the full marks as long as, you'll If it need. doesn't say simplify, then you don't have to. So say. what you have to do is do three. How many how many threes can go into thirty? You guessed it. It's ten, 
And how many threes can go into three? One. <laughs> All right. Here is a question that you can do. Uh, make sure you pause the video and do this question so that you can maximize your full potential. And when you're done, play the video. Okay. Here we have three quarters times by six over seven, which equals. Now, there is a, an easier way of, instead of just timesing three times six and four times seven, what we can do is cross multiply. Now, how many, you, you can find uh, a common factor between these two and divide it. So in this case, we have, uh, it's four and six. Um, so a common factor between four and six is two. We can divide that by two, that gets two. We divide that by two, which makes three. Now we can do three times three, which equals nine, and two times seven, which equals 14. And no simplify, simplify, simplifying is involved in this. Now the final fr type of fraction we have is division. I've got to say that division is probably the hardest one out of all of them. Um, but I'll make sure you will understand it. So here we have half divided by a sixth. Now here, what you have this, what you have to do is do something that it, it may be quite hard to forget. But if you just practice this, it will come naturally. So you have a half. When you divide something, you have to flip the fraction over by timesing the reciprocal. Uh, so by t uh, flipping the fraction over, you change that into a times, and that would be 6 over 1. Because when you're dividing, you always, always flip this fraction, not this fraction, always this fraction over. So we get a half times 6 over 1, which equals 3. That is your answer. You don't need or could have three over one but it's best that you leave at three uh, all right here's a question make sure you do it otherwise I will disown you uh, I'm only I'm only joking um, but make sure you do this question pause the video and then play it when you're done okay we're here here we have an eighth divided by a quarter which equals now remember what I told you you have to flip this fraction over. So you have an eighth times, remember, that changes into a times when you flip this fraction over. Four over one. One times four equals a four. Eight times one equals eight. Now, he, that equals four over eight. However, you can simplify this fraction into something simpler. This, so you can put, uh, say, how many times does 4 go into 8? Well, it's 2. So you do 4 divided by 4, which is 1, and 8 divided by 4, which is 2. So your answer is actually a half. When when simplifying, make sure you simplify, uh, you, you have to simplify it until you can't simplify it anymore. This will enable you to get full marks uh, in your exam. Let's head to the summary now. What have we learned today? We have learned addition of fractions, sub subtraction, multiplication, and division. We've also learned the structure of a fraction, which is really important, and uh, many other things and the uses of fractions. I hope you enjoy this video today. Leave uh, some good comments uh, below. Hit like and subscribe. See ya, maths mates.